In today's video, we're beginning our quest to pull every single rarity collection card and put it in this gigantic binder. What's up guys, we are back with another Rarity Collection 2 opening. We are going to be attempting to pull every single card in Rarity Collection. We're starting it off in this video and we're going to finish it live. It's going to be mostly on the live stream because this is only going to be a couple boxes we're going to open up today. We're going to finish it live tomorrow on Wednesday. I was going to do it Friday and I decided, you know what? Let's not wait that long. Let's do it Wednesday. I'm going to be doing a big, long live stream starting tomorrow, probably around noon sometime. Last time it took us about 10 hours to complete the full set. So I don't know if it's going to be similar to that or not. Probably probably somewhere in the ballpark. So if we start at noon, we'll probably finish around 10 my time, something like that. So if you can tune into the YouTube live stream tomorrow, it's going to be amazing. But even if you can't, you can see the very first part right here where we're opening up these two boxes and getting the binder started. I'm also giving away a full box to one of you guys, which is worth over $100 at this point. So just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know down below how long do you think the live stream will take for us to finish this complete set? Will it be longer, shorter than 10 hours? Give us your exact guess if you like. It's going to be super, super fun. It was one of the most fun live streams I've ever done last time. So I'm hoping this time is just as fun. And of course, we are doing Whatnot Thursday where I will be selling some packs as well. So we're hopefully going to complete the full set Wednesday and then do another final live stream for Rarity Collection and kind of close out Rarity Collection stuff. We'll probably do a Walmart search and see if they have any Rarity Collection products as well later, but that'll probably be next week or something like that. This video is sponsored by Whatnot. Whatnot is a live auction platform that I go live on quite often. We do live streams where we're opening up the newest set, old school stuff, and you guys can be in the stream to watch to buy or both. If you want to buy something that I am opening on Whatnot, all you have to do is have an account on Whatnot and then you can bid on the live auctions. Check out the Buy It Now tab. I'm often doing giveaways. Well, I'm always doing giveaways, usually about 10 giveaways per stream. And we have a stream this Thursday for the brand new Rarity Collection 2 release. I'll be giving away a bunch of stuff like Rarity Collection boxes. We'll be selling packs of Rarity Collection 2 and many other things like Rarity Collection 1 and other cool packs. I'll also be live next week as well. So keep an eye out for that. All you have to do, go click the link down below, get $15 free credit if you're a new user, then go find my profile. Just type in Ruxin34 in the search bar. You should see me. You can then see my coming up shows and you can bookmark them so you'll get a reminder and you don't forget about the stream. So I really want to see you guys there at 5 p.m. Central this Thursday. It's going to be absolutely amazing because they're always super fun times. It's a little bit different vibe than the YouTube streams because you guys get to interact a lot more by like I'm opening packs for you guys and it's super, super fun. So make sure you check out Whatnot. Even if you don't want to buy anything, just come hang out, get an account, get your $15 free credit and come watch the stream. Okay, enough yapping. Let's Let's get to the opening because Rarity Collection 2, guys, is so much fun. I've had so much fun opening it. I've only opened, I guess we've opened, what, three boxes now? Plus the original Rarity Collection uh, in yesterday's video. So this is going to be a good time. I'm going to get my binder ready to go and it'll help us for the live stream because we'll have a few cards already in there and make it a little bit easier to figure out where we're putting stuff. I'm going to pull out all 36 packs and we'll get started. All right, guys, let's get to it. 36 packs right here. It's basically a Pokemon booster box over here. Also, if you've not checked out the shorts for this set, I've been posting a few like all the different rarities and comparing them to the original rarity and stuff like that from Rarity Collection 1. So go check those out if you haven't seen them yet. Go follow me on TikTok, Ruxin34 and Instagram, Ruxin34. I post them there as well. Let's get to it. Let's start pulling cards because we need every single card in the set. So even Exo Sister Pack Super Rare, we need that for the binder because we're completing all seven rarities of all 81 cards. Makes 500 and something. I think it's 563, I think. But uh, I don't remember exactly. A Bingo Machine Go. So a lot of cards. There's a Collector Rare Psychic and Punisher right off the bat. Every single card is going to be needed for the binder. I'm super pumped. Number 38, it's going to be a big time opening. Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon. I know a lot of people were commenting about how they were excited about this one. That's a cool one. IP Mask, Arena, Alternate Art. So all those are cards we need. We're going to be putting them in the binder. At the end of the video, I'll have a quick flip through of the binder and show you what we completed in this video. Let's keep going and see if we can pull some awesome stuff. There's going to be a lot of pulls because, you know, they have all the different luxury rares and stuff. So let's just see what we can do. Emergency Teleport. We have Mystical Space Typhoon. Let me know your favorite card in Rarity Collection 2 in the comments because I still don't know what the top card. I think it's kind of, you know, it's more like a lot of decent cards than it is like a big hit like Ash Blossom like last year. There was no Ash Blossom in this one. All right, Rarity Collection 2. Can we pull something big? Let's keep it up. Guardian Chimera. We have the Pot of Awesome. 
Prismatic Ultimate Rare. That is, man, the Ultimate Rares look way better in Rarity Collection, too. They definitely made them look, and by way, not, not like way better, but they just feel more solid and, and less uh, like they're going to fall apart like in Rarity Collection 1. There's a Blue-Eyed Spirit Dragon. That's an awesome card. One of my favorite cards in the set. Twin Twisters is a great one as well. That's our first QCR of the opening. Should usually get, I think they said it was four per box. I don't remember because I keep forgetting to, you know, see how many we pulled on the other ones. So let's keep going and see what we can get. We have the Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. There's a Prismatic Ultimate. We have the, what is this? Underworld Goddess of the Closed World. Yeah, Underworld Goddess. Yeah, that, what is that originally from? That was from like a Dead Zone set from 16 to 18, I think. Ma Magician Souls, Secret Rare is a big one to get reprinted. Yeah, so Legendary Duelist Season 3. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> love that. I'm sure that set's doing great. Uh, <laughs> okay, well, yeah, it was a reprint set that has now been reprinted like seven times, which is hilarious. That set was terrible to begin with. We have Skill Drain. I mean, you got a lot of Dark Magician stuff, so it wasn't... Te okay, terrible is a strong word. It had some cool stuff in it, but uh, Skill Drain, that's Prismatic Ultimate. Rare. We have Enemy Controller. I saw some people are excited for Econ. Uh, Solemn Morning, the Platinum Secret Rare, my favorite rarity. Very, very cool. Uh, the new one, it just looks way better than the previous one. The last one was subtle and it wasn't bad. It was just like, this is like a high rarity now. That one was like a subtle, cool rare. Uh, Econ, we have the Red Eyes Dark Dragoon. That's a collector rare, prismatic collector rare. Phantom Knights of Breaksword. Emergency Teleport. And number 38, Ho Harbinger Dragon. Titan Titanic Galaxy. Man, I can't talk. We have Book of Moon the quarter century secret and the trishula dragon of the ice barrier so there is a lot of discussion when it comes to this set i will talk about this in this video about if it's a good set or not like it's funny because in rarity collection one i mentioned that i thought that they did too many reprints and it was gonna you know it, it was like i don't think they should print it again for a long time and a lot of people were like man you just you're just complaining so much about a great set and now it's like the popular thing for people to hate on rarity collection too and i feel like i'm more on the positive side of this one this time because i'm kind of in the same boat as i was for rarity collection one i love the set i think it's super fun i just think there's an issue where you're printing too many cards and too many rarities and you're reprinting qcrs reprinting c stuff like that so it's kind of taking the the value or like just the excitement of any other set out and that is the same thing i felt about rarity collection one but at the same time i had so much fun with rarity collection one and now it's kind of like the big deal like oh man i hate rarity collection two this set sucks man like obviously rarity collection one's way better which like look rarity collection one was better here's why no dilution of rarity collection this is number two there's already been one so it's like you're already kind of had that feeling the excitement of the first time if this had come out before rarity collection one you'd probably love the set right a lot of people would at least and it's just because rarity collection one already happened and it was so recent that it's starting to feel a little bit uh but it's not uh it's still a great set i mean the main pro actually the real main problem i have with this set is how expensive it is i mean if you're just like a regular person out there like there's an excess code talker that's really nice that's just like you know what i would like to buy some Yu-Gi-Oh. that is a man i love the platinum rare i love it it's so good if you're just a regular person out there like you know what i just want to buy a box of Yu-Gi-Oh. it's 110 bucks it is brutal like that is a lot of money which by the way if you are going to buy one i do have a discount code five percent off with sassy auto link in the description so you can save five percent off your 110 there but it is a crazy high price point for a lot of people to get in on illusion of chaos and it's like yeah in the cases if you're a case buyer like me i mean you're buying like you're spending over a thousand dollars for a case versus like previous seven eight hundred like that's still a lot but once you get to that four digit mark it's like oh my gosh this is cardboard i'm buying right so i don't love the price of it i think it's a little bit less accessible for everybody which you know the the, the argument for rarity collection one was oh, i was making the cards more accessible which it still is, but if you buy boxes, not as accessible because they're very expensive. Saul Morning, Collector Rare, we have Book of Moon, we have Foolish Burial, the Platinum Rare. I love it. Give me more Platinum Rare. I love it so much. It's so beautiful. We will have every Platinum Rare by the end of this. So, uh, yeah, make sure you guys come out to the stream. It's going to be so much fun, guys. It's tomorrow. It's all day. It's an all-day event. Access Code Talker, Silent Magician. It's not like you can, like, finish this in a couple hours. It's not even possible because there are so many cards to pull. But, yeah, there, yeah, that's well, let me know what you guys think about Rarity Collection, dude. You guys already kind of did in the other video, but are you uh, are you a secret lover of Rarity Collection 2? Are you an uh, outspoken hater of Rarity Collection 2? A lot of you guys are, because as soon as I posted my video, was, it was like, this set sucks. And I was like, come on, guys. It's, it's, it's still awesome. Like, even if there are problems with it, even if it sucks in a lot of ways, it's still super fun to open. Like, it, you if you throw out the price point, which is hard to do because it is expensive, but if you're just opening the set, it is a blast. Like, if you're just having fun with it, draw Lockbird alternate art. 
that's a cool quarter century. If someone just handed you a pack of this and you opened it, you would have fun. Like that's the cool part about it. And it is still doing that very well, which is what Rarity Collection did so well. So I, I am not completely out on like, this is a horrible set. Like horrible set is something like Ancient Guardians. Like that was a set I couldn't remember this came out of. I'm glad I remembered it. That's Ancient Guardians. That's a horrible set. This is not a horrible set. This might be a little bit disappointing, you know, for what you expected from Rarity Collection 1. That's possible. I accept that if you're a little disappointed compared to Rarity Collection 1. But it, compared to some sets, most sets even, that we have, this is not a terrible set. This is one of the most fun sets you can have to open. And even then, if you don't think it's worth buying, you can probably get these singles super cheap because there's seven of them. So that's the bright side of this. While it does kill the print, other prints of these cards, these cards are very affordable. Even if you want to buy something like, I'm guessing the platinum rares and stuff and the quarter centuries, the highest rarities. Is platinum considered highest rarity now because it's shiny? I don't know. But let's say the highest rarities in this set. I mean, they're only going to get up to 30, 40, 50 dollar cards. And that's the highest rarity. If you go to supers, ultra secrets, they're going to be dollar cards, 50 cent cards. So if you need anything from here, you're going to be able to get it. So there's that side of it as well. So if you want anything out of here, this is the Rindabrum, you're going to be able to afford it. So that's the, the good side of all the reprints is right now, if you need the cards, you can get them very, very cheap. The old stuff is what hurt, gets hurt from this, but the old stuff, you know, they, they have, they've made it clear. Konami has made it clear that they're going to be reprinting basically everything. And at this point, you just got to accept it. Like, you don't have to like it. I don't necessarily like it, but I am going to continue to enjoy the products. And if they at least make them cool when they do the reprints, like at least they're making How many platinum rares do we have? They can't be four for box. We already have like five. Uh, but if they at least make cool sets like rarity collection to do the reprints that I'm not necessarily excited about, that's a good thing. I mean, I mean, look, at least I'm going to have fun. At least I'm going to have fun while I do it. Silent Swordsman, very, very cool. Magician, we have another Platinum Rare. We are getting so many of these. I Look, give me one in every pack for all I care. Not guaranteed, though, because then that would dilute it a lot. But, you know, at the, maybe if we get an error box to get a bunch of Platinum Rares, I'd be down. That'd be that'd be pretty cool. And uh, I feel like we're the set is like, I mean, we've completed a lot of the set in just two boxes. Maybe it will go quicker than 10 hours tomorrow. Opelosa, alternate art. I mean, that'll make it a little easier on me. 10 hours is kind of a lot. A lot of the time is spent, though, putting it in the binder. That takes a while. So I'm going to try to have myself prepared to know where everything goes. We have the Access Code Talker. We have DD Crow, Prismatic Ultimate Rare. Yeah, that Starlight got a reprint. Raiko for Edison. Very cool. I'm going to have a bunch of extras of those. So I shouldn't ever need another Raiko. That's good. This set is just... It's just a fun open. And look, people complain about it. And the re Pearly is in here? I don't think I pulled any of those yet. Or maybe I just skipped over them. But that's a nice QCR. The reason I know people are, or at least most people are not down on this set is the first video we posted at 40K views in one day. That is like crazy for me. That's how I know you guys are interested in the set. Because like if 40K people are watching the first video I post about this, people are excited about the set, right? Like normally if we post like a like a mid or a bad set, I mean, some of the new sets will get 15K in one day. You know, like it's 10K. I mean, 10K is probably pretty bad, but 20K. So it's like double to even triple certain other sets so in terms of interest we have a lot of platinum rares this is great it's all morning so to me that's showing me that there is a ton of interest in this new set people really like the new set and that means it's not a bad set like people are at least interested in it and i agree with them that it is a fun set we have the crystal wing C synchro dragon and sure of course there are issues with it there's no big chase card it's hard to do that when you have seven prints of a card you know it's got to be something really really big like ash blossom which people had long awaited for a starlight rare didn't get it got the qcr basically the same thing uh you need either that you need i mean to hold up a set like this to make it like even crazier like yeah obviously if the price point had come in lower i think a lot like if this was a 75 dollar box i think even without the card list being incredible, which it is still pretty good. I mean, I, I got to argue it's pretty good. There's some good cards in here. Sure, they could have put in there's another another platinum rare. I don't that's like every couple packs. We're getting one. They could have put in Trident Dragion. They could have put in SP Little Knight. Really, if they just put one of those in there, it'd been pretty crazy. But that would have been a really quick reprint for them. And I didn't expect it to happen. And they got it. They got to save it for when they do a set that is not so exciting on its own. Like you got to put it in like the tins because like the tins are purely made for you to pull the good cards, not to pull cool cards. This set is made so you pull shiny, beautiful cards to add to your decks. If they add that plus a big chase card, they're kind of burning two of their shots in one. When you have all these reprint sets, you got to fulfill like them. They need to save some of those big hits 
reprints for stuff like the tins, which aren't as exciting as something like Rarity Collection or like some other reprint set like Battles of Legend, whatever that's coming out next year. Or I think it's in a month, actually. The next Battles of Legend. They got to save stuff for that. Uh, Rarity Collection itself, it doesn't even really need good cards to be fun. Like, it's just got to have decent stuff and it's fun. So that is kind of why I suspect they didn't put in all that big stuff. And because it would have been a little early for stuff like uh, the Dragion. Like, they just kind of announced it. I know it's an old card, but that just got expensive. And I, you could argue they should have anticipated it would be expensive. That might be true, Psychic and Punisher. Platinum Rare again, what in the world? I guess those are easier to pull than QCR, so they're not the highest rarity, but I do like them. So yeah, uh, I think that's why they did it. And let's just imagine though, if they had put an SP Little Knight or if they'd put a Trident Dragon in here, I mean, people would, people would love the set. I mean, it just it's one card away from people just loving it, you know? So overall, I think people are gonna gonna like it if they buy it and have fun with it. So yeah, I, I don't know. I, it feels weird because I'm like, I'm defending the set. I Like last year, I felt like I was more on the, I love the set, but, but now I'm more like, you guys don't love the set, but, you know, <laughs> that's kind of weird. But I'm always, I definitely do not hate the set. I mean, it's so much fun. Fusion deployment and a Exo Sister packs. Now that's not one I don't necessarily care about. Uh, four cards left or four packs left. We will have a cutaway at the end to our binder and what we will be continuing tomorrow. Tomorrow. I know I I know it's earlier. I sprung it on you guys. So I'm going to try to post it on social media and stuff that we're doing the full complete set on Wednesday. Uh, I know it's the middle of the week and stuff. Some of you guys are working. So, you know, you know, just put your headphones in. You know, just kidding. OK, you got to get to work. But the good side is I probably won't be done by the time it's like five or whatever. European people. All you guys, all you European fans, it's going to be the perfect time for you. It's going to be like six o'clock when we start. I see he's on course, so maybe you'll get to see most of it. All right. All right. Enough of this. Uh, enough of this Rarity Collection 2 talk. Let's open some Rarity Collection 2, right? Rarity Collection 2. So much fun. So awesome. And of course, we have the Whatnot stream. Rescue Cat regular art. That's a beautiful card. Of course, we have the Whatnot stream. So I want to see you guys on that or at that. And on that? I guess I guess on that is right. Thursday, so it's going to be really fun as well. Last pack magic before we complete our binder. We have Apollosa, we have Skill Drain, Rux and Special. We have the Prismatic Ultimate, Pearly Memory, Pretty Memory. We have the Apollosa, Solemn Judgment Collector Rare, Pressure Planet, Prime Evil Planet, and the Trap Tricks, Reflisi. Uh, okay, I'm going to put all these cards in the binder. This might take a while, actually. That is a lot of cards we just pulled. So I might, I'm going to put these in the binder. We'll cut to that at the end of the video and make sure you guys come out for the completion of the binder tomorrow on Wednesday. It's going to be so much fun. So I'm excited to see you guys there. If you do want to grab any of this set, check out Sassy Auto down below. Get 5% off using my discount code binder time. After opening two boxes, we already have completed a ton of the supers and ultra rares and a bunch of the high luxury rares as well. But completing all seven rares and especially those high end luxury rares is going to be the part that takes a really long time in the stream on Wednesday. So even though it looks like we have a lot of cards completed before even starting, this is actually only a small part of our goal. Shout out to Tom Fosho, Show, Anessa Dienda, America Deutscher, KK Beats, Brandon Cheney, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F, Changalang, Adelso Garcia Jr. and Edwin K. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.